Yeah, g'day all and welcome back to the perfect bus life. Um, we're out in the middle of the boonies at the moment, uh, South Australia. Um, might be able to see behind me there, it's the uh, Murray River. Um, what we're up to today is just a quick recap on a couple of things. Earlier we did a video on the door, um, puttying it up with some steel putty. Uh, that worked beautifully. Door's working, hole's gone, that's magic. Um, and in the earlier video we did uh, looked into the solar system to see why we were losing current. Uh, that turned out to be a bit of an issue with the person that installed it. Uh, the ground wires just weren't grounding properly and uh, the batteries weren't hooked up correctly either so we're draining quicker than what we should have. Um, that's all been since rewired. Uh, we're back on track and uh, utilising the Australian sun. Today, next issue, uh, 41 degrees outside and the bus just doesn't like it at all. Um, we're getting water temperatures that are just too high, um, verging on the side of danger. So I've pulled out this uh, little bad boy here, the thermostat, had a look at it, compared it with the one I've got on hand. Um, it's working beautifully. It is a high flow model, but we're just not getting enough flow through the radiator to uh, cool it down on those hot, hot summer days. So I'm going to do a bit of a little alteration on there. Um, I'll show you that once I've done it. Um, in the meantime, I've also dropped the radiator um, and I'll put in some vinegar, would you believe it? Some still water and vinegar. Going to run the bus up to temperature, drain it out. That's going to flush out the block, get rid of all of our scale dirt, grime and crud that's in there. Um, vinegar, yeah I can use vinegar. Because the bus is so old, the engine's made from cast and not alloy. Um, if I was chucking vinegar into an alloy car, say a new car, yeah I'd have some serious issues. But we're lucky, we got the cheap fix. You saw it here first. Well so the modification's done. Uh, didn't take very long at all, surprise surprise. Um, should claim not a mechanic, it's not the right way, it's my way, and it's going to keep us going. As you can probably see, just drilled a couple of little holes in there. Uh, nothing fancy, nothing pretty. But, uh, drilled them, sanded off all the burrs, cleaned it off so there's no uh, contaminants or filings in there. Going to throw it back in and uh, sure as shit, it should do the job. Let's give it a go, eh? Well, it's now the end of the next day. Uh, it's been a really, really big day. A lot of things happened. Uh, first of all, this morning, got straight into the job. Uh, recovered all the antifreeze, put that in containers on the back of the bus, and we dropped that off uh, through our adventures so it can be taken care of um, by the professionals. Went ahead, did the vinegar rinse. Um, worked like you've never seen. The stuff that was coming out it was all brown just real nasty looking stuff flushed out with some clean water uh, put the new thermostat back in the altered thermostat from before uh, burp the system make sure there's no bubbles and stuff in there um, and then we just drove 400 k's today across two borders no longer in south australia crossed through into victoria and now up into new south wales um, it's not 41 degrees but it's still in the high 30s and we got this far and all's going well. Uh, in this bus our gauges are actually digital uh, so we can get exact readings out of what's going on um, and everything's really really good. We've dropped on average 10 to 15 degrees Celsius so the modification's doing its job. Um, but we'll keep an eye on that because later on when we hit inland the temperatures are going to be a lot hotter so if need be um, we'll address that situation but for now for where we are everything's working well um, and yeah let's rock and roll <laughs> 